Hello dear student, welcome back for unit 3 lesson 1 in this subject I'm going to talk about past simple again and also a new subject which is present perfect So as I mentioned before, what is the simple past is a verb term that used to talk about things that happened or existed before now We can recognize simple past by one of the following time expression as I mentioned in the before lesson Yesterday for example last night ago in 2000 in the past in the old days before two days the, the night before last or etc also uh, we have the forms of past simple for example positive we use subject as um, verb like plus regular verbs or verb ed which is a take ed and became past also plus complement and also we have irregular verbs like go and went and also complement for negative we have subject plus didn't plus base plus complement Okay, and uh, uh, for the question, uh, we have did at the beginning plus subject plus base plus complement and also followed by a question mark. And we also in the WH question, we have WH question at the beginning plus did plus subject plus base and question mark. Those are the forms of simple past. Let's see in examples. Last year, I go to England on holiday. And it says corrected or changed to the past simple. So it became um, last year I went to England on holiday. Go, it became went because it's an irregular verb. So you have to uh, memorize the, the, the irregular verbs. So it became last year I went to England on holiday. Also last year for itself is a time expression in past. Another example, we not play tennis yesterday, make past. So it became what? We didn't play tennis yesterday. Why? Because not it means negative and play is a regular verb and also it became we didn't play tennis yesterday. Why I didn't change play to to the to the past because we have didn't and when we have did or didn't the verb should be in base form. Another example, he know he, it was your birthday. He know it was your birthday. When we change to past it became he knew it was your birthday. He knew it was your birthday. Also know is a irregular verb and became new. Present perfect. Now we have present perfect. The present perfect tense refers to an action or a state that either occurred at an indefinite time in the past or began in the past and continued to the present time. Okay, this is called the present perfect tense. Okay, we have the forms now of the present perfect. First of all, we have positive, so it became subject plus have or has according to the subject, plus PP, or we can say past participate, and also complement. So um, we have uh, with with have we use I, we use they. When uh, when our subject is I, you, they, or we, we have to use have. When our subject is he, she, it, or we can say singular, we have to use has. For negative, subject plus haven't or hasn't plus pp and complement for question have and has at the beginning plus subject plus pp plus complement when we want to answer the, the the question like that we you have to use yes and no but also we have wh question or wh or word wh word at the beginning followed by have and has plus subject plus pp this is the forms of uh, present perfect and now we talk about yet Yet is used with present perfect. So let's see what is that yet with present perfect. Yet always come at the end of the sentence. It appears in negative and question sentences. So you have to know that yet is used with present perfect. Okay. And the second rule, it comes at the end of the sentence. And the last one, it appears only in negative and question sentences. So we, we, we cannot use yet in positive sentences. For example, Shahla have her breakfast. Shahla have her breakfast. It asked to use yet. So it became what? She haven't had her breakfast. She have uh, haven't had her breakfast yet. Okay. And have she had her breakfast? Have she had her breakfast yet? So as you see, we, we use in the both uh, sentences, the first one is negative. I mean, uh, negative. Yeah. And the second one is uh, question another one she choose her aim yet she choose her aim yet so it says correct it became she has chosen her aim yet she has chosen 
her aim yet and it becomes has she chosen her aim yet has she chosen her aim yet this is about yet and uh, we can say uh, another question the set is the police catch the thief the police catch the, th the thief use not yet so it became the police haven't caught the thief yet the police haven't caught the thief yet the police here is the the subject and we have to use have okay and we, we say uh, not so we can we, we use yet with negative and catch it became what code because the past participate of catch is code the second type we have for and since the second one for and since use with present perfect so let's see what's for and since we use for when we measure the duration when we say how long something lasts okay since gives the starting point of actions events or status it refers to when things begin okay since is used with monday for example the days of the week lunch time nine o'clock yesterday 24th july christmas january 1989 or last year also for is used with a minute day week month a year two hours three days 10 minutes ages the last two years so you have to know that the times that uh, they are used with since and for okay now we have example slimani remain a top city for 20 200 years okay for 200 years if you change to the present perfect it became slimani has remained a top city for 200 years as you see we use has reminded why because slimani a thing or a city we have to use has and re we'll change remind to the past participate and became reminded and also for which is used with with the time uh, which is 200 years is the duration of the time that's why we use for sarah moved to london three years ago use life on for so it became she has lived to, Lo uh, to london for three years she has lived to london for three years so it says use uh, life as a verb and also for with three so it became she has lived to london for three years ago you have to change live to the past participate they know each other they know each other and say you since and also a time which is 2002 so it became they have known each other they have known each other since 2002 they have known each other since 2002 the, the third type of words that use with uh, with a uh, present perfect they are just never recently and already they will come after have and has or before the past participate or pp mike win a prize mike win a prize use just it became what mike has just won a prize mike has just won a prize so you have to know that with mike we use with and with the names of people we use has and you have to change uh, the verb to the past participate which is became one and also we have to write just after have and has so we cannot say mike has won just a prize this is incorrect so we have to say mike has just won a prize another example dana sent six emails use already so it became what dana has already sent six emails so as you see send became sent so send is irregular and became uh, sent dana has already sent six emails ashna visitors howler citadel ashna visitors howler citadel use never so it became what ashna has never visited howler citadel ashna has never visited howler citadel so they are the same and they are come after um, have and has the fourth one we have ever it uses with question sentence and comes after the subject we have the rule for ever have and has at the beginning plus subject plus ever plus pp and complement you can say the past participate for example you ever eat shark okay and question mark so that the sentence became what have you ever eaten shark have you ever eaten shark as you see have at the beginning we have you which is subject and after subject we have ever 
and eaten the verb in the past participle form and also complement and also question mark. Have you ever eaten shark? Another sentence, have she go ever to school? So it became what? Has she ever gone to school? Has she ever gone to school? Also, we will follow the rule and we will change to the present perfect by using ever. It became has she ever gone to school? You have to remember that you have to rem uh, change go to past participle and became gone. Another sentence, Jack ever ride a horse? It became what? Has Jack or he ever ridden a horse? So we can use the name. Also, we can change to pronoun, which is he. It became ever ridden a horse. So you will change right to ridden, which is irregular verb. And also we use ever after the subject of the uh, of the sentence. Okay, now the summary, the last thing of um, this lesson is a tense which is used to show that a completed action took place at a specific time in the past. This is the summary of the past simple. Present perfect used to express an event that happened in the past that has present consequences. They played table tennis. This is the past simple. They have played table tennis. This is the present perfect. Okay. Uh, and you have to remember that uh, we can recognize present perfect by only having have and has. Thank you for your listening.